Hello, I'm Mary Zimmerman, one of the founding members of the Kinder Institute of Life Planning. It's a real privilege to be here today talking with you about life planning and seeing how it's evolved over these years that it's been going on. I've been in the financial services business for over 30 years now, and I always felt in the early years that I had a really great relationship with my clients. I knew a lot about their lives. And on the other hand, I was very good with the linear part, the very analytical money part of their lives. It took me going through the kinder workshops and reading the books and studying about life planning to discover that we can actually take people's lives and their money and marry them so that you have money and meaning together in a wonderful way that supports the dreams and the goals that people have in their lives. I've seen people that have gifts that they weren't able to give the world because they believed that for some reason they couldn't afford to do that. So people were holding all this wonderful stuff inside and it wasn't getting out. Life planning doesn't have to be a whole array of things that you're going to do differently. It can be something as simple as, in one case, hiring someone to do the yard work on the weekend so that an artist could have time to paint. It could be as simple as someone discovering that what was important to them was doing work on themselves and working with a psychologist and feeling badly because they couldn't use that psychologist because he was no longer on their health plan. Well, we just build into the budget the money to pay for the psychologist. It's a paradigm shift and sometimes we get shut down over the tiniest things that it takes someone on the outside offering uh, some ideas and surprises to see what a person really wants out of their lives. Another case I had was somebody who just wanted to read more and they happened to be building a home. So we actually built into the architecture of the home a wonderful little alcove that had two real deep, cushy recliners with just a little table in between for some coffee. And the only thing allowed in that room was books and nice lighting. And he and his wife really used that room a lot after they discovered that's what they wanted was just that time together in that way. It's been a wonderful journey and it's continuing and it's just fun to be talking to you about it right now. Thank you.